Extraordinary match to claim his first ever ATP Tour title. Radu Albot, nicknamed the Machine due to his steadiness from the baseline, was somehow able to go on a Cinderella run to win his maiden ATP title back in 2019 at the Delray Beach Open. In this video, we go through each round of the improbable run. But first, let's take a quick look at some of the past Cinderella runs in tennis. An unseeded Joe Wilford Sanga came out of nowhere to defeat four seeded players in the 2008 Australian Open. Defeating 14th seed Mikhail Eugenie in straight sets in the quarterfinals, 9th seeded Andy Murray, 8th seeded Richard Gasquet, dominating 2nd seed Rafael Nadal in straight sets in the semifinals before losing to Djokovic in what was his first of many Grand Slam victories. And who can forget the Cinderella run of Emma Raducanu at the 2021 US Open. Raducanu was ranked 150th entering that US Open, came through qualies, and won 10 matches without dropping a set. Truly amazing. We go from Raducanu to Radu Albot, who is the main focus of this video. Just one week prior to the 2019 Delray Beach Open, Albot faced off against Ivo Karlovic at the New York Open. Each set went to a tiebreak with Albot winning the match 7-6 in the third. Karlovic won the Delray Beach Open back in 2015. They would meet up again in round one with Albot winning in two tight sets. Next up in round two would be Nick Kyrgios. Nick at his best can beat anyone in the world. Nick at his worst can lose to anyone and even get disqualified from a match. Albot was around a career high ranking of 82. He would get two break chances early on. After getting broken, Nick pretty much tanked the set. Some of these shots are just ridiculous. Hitting a poor drop shot, going for broke on a backhand before wildly missing a few forehands. Albot would quickly have three set points as Nick was getting into it with someone in the crowd. Just getting involved with the crowd here. Albot would take the set 6-2. There was more curious drama to come. <laughs> that just gives you a little insight. How he's feeling mentally right now. No surprise. Yeah, what well, the line he said there, for those of you that didn't hear it, I just want to get off the court at the moment, to be honest. Nick was able to earn himself a break point despite not wanting to be there. He would win it and serve for the set. Three set points. The first serve wasted. He would take the set and interact with the crowd some more. One in the crowd just. Uh, end of the court, but. There would be more crazy stuff in set three. Oh, that's more like it. Connected well on that. Well played, all but. He's asking a fan which way he should hit this first serve. Just like that. Oh, magical stuff. Well, despite all the drama down the other end of the court, you've got to say that's an impressive win. Pretty crazy stuff from Nick. Next up for Awa would be American Steve Johnson. Johnson would get a look at a break point early in the match. The ball was out, so Johnson would go up an early break. Johnson would run away with the set 6-1. He would have early break chances in the second.
Down a set and a break, Albot would fight his way back later on in the set. Oh, brilliant response there. Down 3-1, Alba is able to win five straight games. The third set would go all the way to a tiebreak. We pick up the tiebreak with Alba down 5-4. It's wide. And Radu Olbot. And you have to say, what a recovery from the Moldovan. A set and a breakdown. And he looked down and out. What a great win. Albot was asked a question after the match, and McDonald was able to pull off the upset versus Del Potro. Where, is, where are you from? Explain a moment about your country. Yeah, you guys know about my country. It's called Moldova. It's in Europe. And it's between Romania and Ukraine. You can uh, Google it out and you'll find out more about my country. McDonald pulled off a big upset versus Del Potro and almost hit himself in the face. Allbot would face him next with the winner to play Dan Evans who was able to upset Isner. There was a crazy point early on in this match. Oh. That is just incredible court coverage from Radu Allbot. After going up a break, McDonald would eventually get to serve for the set. After winning the set, McDonald quickly collapsed and was struggling to win points. Albot was just being consistent and aggressive when he had the chance. It's a bit of a gift from McDonald. That's a super set of tennis from uh... Radu Albot. Oh, this is great tennis. It's another milestone for the Moldovan machine. So after losing the first set 6-3, Albot served up the double bagel to win the match. This would set up the Delray Beach final between Dan Evans and Radu Albot. Albot would get a break chance early in the match. Evans quickly upped his level in the remainder of the set. A crazy shot, Evans would get to set point. Albot would have another early break chance in the second. Down a break, Evans would now have a couple chances to get back on serve. Oh, it's too good. Albot saves the break points with some amazing shots and ends up holding. He would work his way to three step points. Radu Albot is doing it again. For a third time, Albot breaks early in a set. He appeared to have all the momentum. Unfortunately, rain came and stopped play for over an hour. This one would go all the way to a final set tie break to determine the champion. Oh, oh my word! What 
what a shot. Evans can't believe it. Evans would work his way to two match points up 6-4. Just missed. Now match point number two. Evans would challenge the out call and it turns out that the ball was in, so they had to replay the point. Another close call and Evans challenges. The ball is just out and they would change sides at 6 all. A great forehand by Evans to set up match point number three. Ball is just long, seven all. Albot would get a first match point. After a missed first serve, Albot would have a look at a second. Radu Albot is the champion. Albot becomes the first Moldovan to win an ATP singles title. He was an underdog in every match and came from a set down in the last three matches, including saving three match points versus Evans. This was truly a Cinderella story. Personally, Alba is one of my favorite tennis players and I want him to win every time he takes the court. As of the making of this video in early 2023, he is ranked around 100. He achieved a career high ranking of 39 in August of 2019.